Uh, hang on. I need to... Okay, go ahead. Okay, so you've got something like. Um, before anything, can you move the camera down a little? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Sorry. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. So you've got John, you've got a comma, you've got Joe, you've got a phone number 555 and you got a comma, and then you've got, um, you know, the human. Okay. Okay. When you, um, this comma is called a delimiter. Delimiter is the thing that separates different parts or different tokens of your data. And when you tokenize something, okay. you're basically saying, okay, I've got, I've got this comma, I'm going to chop it off here, I'm going to chop it up here, and I'm going to chop it up here. So now I've got one, two, three, four different tokens, right? Okay. Wait, are you talking about the addresses? Addresses? Yeah, I, I, in very vague terms. Okay. But, because um, this is how C gives it back to us. So, we're starting here at zero, and then the comma is at position number four. This next comma is at position number eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, position number 17. And then, whatever here, we've got our, our Okay. Now when string token comes along, and it's going to say, okay, the very first token in this in this string is here, John. Okay. And I'm going to return an address of zero on the first time through. And I'm going to go find the next one, the next comma, and I'm going to change it to a null. That's that's uh, using str t, t o k right? Yes. String token. Okay. So that's what it does the first time that you call it. And when you call it, strtok, parentheses, uh, um, well actually it's um, char, star, whatever that is. I've got a pointer here, equals string token, and your input string. Okay. And what you're searching for. In this case, we're searching for commas. And you're gonna look for commas. Oh, oh, and then so like for example on the homework six, mm -hmm. um, you would instead of a comma you you will replace it with a colon. Colon space. A colon space. Okay. Then what it does is it says okay, if I encounter a colon or a space, I'm gonna um, break it up there. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Or you could do a colon, a space, and a dash, in which case it would actually break it there as a dash. Oh. You just have a prefix and a post -it. And what is that? Pointer? Pointer, STR, T, OK? Pointer 1. This is just whatever variable that you want to hold the, um, to hold the address of this first token, this first part here that says John. OK. Pointer 1. OK. And then you're going to say pointer 2. Uh -huh. equals string token all caps null comma quote comma quote semicolon what null in this case means is take that same string that I just worked on and do it again starting where you last left off at this last null that you inserted uh -huh. and give me the next token so it's going to come back and it's going to give you the address stored in pointer 2 of 4. Uh -huh. And then it's going to take this comma and convert it into a null. Very nice. So just keep looping through this until it ends up returning a null back to you. Or in our case, we know that, it's, that there's only two things that you have to break it up into. So you only need to do this twice. 
So you do this to, right, to make sure that it, it puts the no on right. those spaces. The nice okay. Thing is that when you do the um, do the colon and space, uh, -huh. uh what that does is it actually it doesn't care how many spaces there are in between. So like you could have John, comma 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 Doe. Okay. And it's going to return the address of that D and Doe. And all of those are going to get changed into multiple nulls. Oh. So you'll always be getting, if you know that you have two tokens, you'll get the address of this first one, and then you'll get the address of your second one. Address of the first one, and address of the second. Right. And then you can do a string length and find out how long John is, and you can do a string length of Joe and find out how long Joe is. Because this first null that it encounters here, going to terminate John, and then the final uh, null over there is going to terminate Doe. Okay. And so all this intervening stuff is just empty space that doesn't exist. Now, here's a question. Okay, so for example, before pointer 1, right, you would input uh, John, comma, Doe, right? Right. Right, you, you would input that, right? And then you do the pointer 1, STR, T, OK, right, the first one. And you do the pointer one, stair T, OK, uh, pointer two, sorry. And then let's say you want to display uh, the input, and then it should display just John, right? Right. If you're going to just say C out input, yeah, C out input. Print out John. Right. Because there's now a null sitting there. So to print out Go, you would need to um, print pointer plus pointer two plus one. Pointer two plus one. Do you know why it would be plus one? Because of the circle? No, because of the... Because the pointer is pointing to a null. So if you told it to print the null, it's going to stop right there. Okay. So when you say plus one, you're actually at the start of the next string, and it'll go all the way to the next null. Oh, so that would just print, that would print out John Doe, right? Well, C out, pointer 2 plus 1 will print out Doe, and C out, pointer 1 will print out John. Very nice. Very nice. Now in the homework, I can see now we can do that for the colon one. Yep. And you can do it for both of them, actually, because if you put in the, the colon and the space, yeah. all it's going to do is whichever format you put in, it's going to break it up into two different strings. You got your string A and your string B. And then what you can do is you can check this first character of A and figure out if it's uh, a digit or a letter. And then if it's a digit, treat it like it's the number, otherwise treat it like it's the, the mate. And then the other one is the, the alternate. Very nice. But wait, number slash A? I'm just saying it, it is digit. Oh, uh, is digit, sorry. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm just saying, is this a number or is this a letter? Uh, I thought it was a. Uh... When, well, hang on. Are you talking about East Digit, right? Just East Digit. Right. Okay. Uh, for East because Digit, uh, doesn't digit, it work? Go ahead. It's going to be, you know, a, a year. If it's not a digit, if it's else, it's going to be most likely a letter or a bad format. Oh, okay. Well, uh, just to make sure, man, East Digit, that function, it, it, it returns a true or false. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then is alpha returns a letter, right? If it's a letter, no. right? Is alpha returns a true or false? But for There's number. Not really any point in, in checking for both conditions. You just check for is alpha or is digit. I would say check for is digit. And mm -hmm. then um, if it's a digit, do this. Else, do that. Nice. And that's for checking the year. It'll check either one. 
because what you're doing is you're you're looking here at this first first character in this string. Uh huh. And so you can look at it as saying. Like you put 1989, right? Yeah. Like 1989 there, right? Uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to say if A sub 0 uh, should be if, if is digit. Mm -hmm. A sub 0. Okay. Then, um, uh, get year with the address of A, for example, whatever. Okay, year, okay, okay. You're, you're going to get year, you're going to pass it the value of A, whatever that is. The value okay. of A, okay. Else, uh, yeah, else, get Thing you're going to do is you're going to get make I like and B. Wait, so you did get year, you get the address, right? And get make, and that's the address of B. Yeah. Its first digit is a number, so we're going to get the year of A and the make from B. Otherwise, in other words, if it's a letter, you're going to get the year from B and the make from A. Oh, that's really good. Because, yeah, if the digit is on the other side, if it's like Honda 1989, yep. then it will so you, be okay. Right. And and just making sure this is a single dimensional array that we're filling up, right? You mean the A and the B? Yeah. Yeah, they're just temporary strings. And then they're being separated by the string token. By the string token. Mm -hmm. I see. So we will do a string token, then the is digit function, and then like once you got have the correct well, data type. Actually A and B are probably just that original input variable. Oh, or that too, right? Yeah. And then from there, you could you take that the information. Well, see, here's the thing, because I see that you have get year and get make, right? Mm -hmm. How about how, how would you assign it to an element of the array? Actually, if, if A and B are pointers, uh -huh. you can pass the pointer straight into the function, and then you'll be working with the original anyway. How would you do that? So we did our string token and we're going to say A uh -huh. equals, with, with, and this is going to return an address, string token. Um, string token input. I don't know Actually, in this case, it's going to be null. Uh, colon space. Right there, you get you're returning the address, right? Correct. Okay. That's the address. And then, um, probably to make it easier on yourself, mm -hmm. you would probably really want it to be plus one here. Yeah, because that's you don't want to point at the null. You right? don't want to point at the null. You want to point at the um, the start of that next string. Okay. So this is actually B pointer and A pointer whatever you want to call them. Right. And then, um, for your get here, you're just passing in that A pointer or 
a B pointer, depending on which which one is holding the ear. Mm-hmm. Do that, and then when it actually looks at it, it's just going to be looking at the string from the memory elsewhere. Very good. Right. Awesome. Okay. Now they, they, I needed this, man. Thanks a lot. No problem. I appreciate it. Thank you for the uh, for the chapter twenty-two. No, man, and you know this is how it works. You know we exactly we share information. You know. Well, I'm glad you're doing that because you know Stan or, or I are usually the two guys who do this kind of stuff, and he's busy coding away, and I'm coding. Away. I've, I've only got a menu so far. <laughs> Yeah, man, no problem. You know, and in if you look at the. Yay! Awesome. <laughs> and then if you see, man, same thing, group 22, we're almost done with it, too. Yeah. So. Good. That's, that's really good, man. Hey, would you like to finish it? We're like super close. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So, anyway, so we go back to the information.